Hey guys, Barry here. I just wanted to mention that this video is part of a course that I have on Udemy. If you'd like to support my work and get the full course, please use the link in the description below to get it at a discounted price. Thanks guys, back to the video. Welcome back guys, we are exactly where we left off in the previous video and uh, in this video I'm going to show you some of the handy little Visual Studio Code plugins that we can use to just improve our developer experience. If you're not using Visual Studio Code you could probably skip this video but uh, it's probably worth just watching it anyway to see what we're doing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to install some plugins. Now I've already got them installed but uh, what you need to do is install material icon theme now bear in mind i clicked this little app icon over here extensions and you can get this material icon theme over here so you just hit install i'm not going to hit uninstall now because i've happily got installed and might ask you to reload i think don't worry about reloading now because you also want to install prettier which is this handy little thing that makes your code prettier so it's prettier code formatter it's this one over here it's also wonderful i love it um so that will make our code format nicely every time we save it a thing i wanted to mention with material icon theme is that's what makes my icons nice and pretty and i just think it makes your application nicer it's it's just more fun to work with um, if you think it's dumb then that's fine you don't need to install it i just think it it makes things easier to read and stuff the next thing is ts lint a linter is something that enforces coding rules so it makes sure that your code is consistent it also might help with efficiency and stuff but mostly to to keep your code formatted and consistent that's the third one we need ts lint and the final one is vs code styled components and that is this one over here it is by julian posenier this basically makes our style components which we haven't implemented yet this will make our syntax look a lot nicer, a lot easier to read. It's, it really, really does make a big difference. Uh, you'll understand why later if you don't have it, but I figured since we're doing all of our extensions at once, let's just do that as well. So those are the extensions I'd like you to install, the four of those. It was Material Icon Theme, Prettier, TS Lint, VS Code, Dash Style, Dash Components. They're probably written up here somewhere. Anyway, the next thing I want to do, just since this is a fairly short video, is to create a new folder, like a root folder, and call it .vs code. Now this gets created automatically when you start to set project specific preferences. You can also have user specific preferences, but as far as I know, these are the project specific preferences. So we're gonna call our file settings.json because we have a material icon theme we've got that cool little thing there uh, and we're going to say editor.code actions on save source.fixall and make that true so what this does is it means that whenever we save our file it, it makes everything pretty which is great it, it like reformats our code like if i have this up here and i save it goes back to like that um, and sometimes there's a bit of a conflict with that. It's called editor format on save. We've also got to say format on save and true. So you get fix and you get format. So I think the one is for the prettier and one is for linting. So we want both of them to kind of fix. And then the conflict that I was talking about was javascript.format enable and we need to set this to false because this kind of sometimes interferes with that and that final thing that i like i think is useful is to set our material icon theme active icon pack to react redux and this basically it's just a, a different icon pack for this so when you start implementing redux things there's special icons for that instead of just the default normal folder which there is no actual default folder here. these are what the default folder icons look like they're just a bit bland and boring i mean we will have some anyway but yeah we'll get there so that is just another minor setup video finally after this we will go and do some cool cody things right i'll catch you in the next video cheers guys